Hey everyone, I'm Larry Chen. I'm a Canon Explorer of Light, and today we're gonna talk about the RF 100 to 500 millimeter lens. This is a lens that I've always wanted to exist, but it's never actually existed. This has the focal length, but it doesn't have the weight of the super telephoto lenses. We actually use this when we're shooting off-road photography or if we're at a racetrack where we have to hike great distances and we need to keep everything in a backpack or keep something with us where we can actually move around quickly. All of my lenses and camera bodies are covered in some sort of gaff tape or neoprene cover because of the very harsh conditions we put them through. We shoot every day at the racetrack, in the rain, in the snow, and often in dust storms. We want to keep the original finish on the paint as clean as possible because I am very proud of keeping our equipment in tip top shape. The tape is just one extra layer of protection against the elements. There are so many awesome features with this lens, but we'll just dig into it. Of course, the first is the range. At 100 millimeter, we can shoot at f4.5. At 500 millimeter, we can shoot at f7.1. You can make it smooth or tight, and you can make it easier or harder for you to zoom in and out. The 100 to 500 RF is sharp enough for what I need at every focal length. There's just so many little features that add to the usability of the lens. The lens hood is super easy to take on and off. The filter is a 77 millimeter. You can put a polarizer, you can put an ND, whatever you need to put up front. The lens hood has a neat feature when you actually have a circular polarizer. It has a window for you to open and you can actually adjust the circular polarizer on the fly and you can close it so there's no light leaks. The digital ring is really useful because it just gives you one more way to change settings on the fly. You can set it to aperture, you can set it to ISO, whatever you need to set it to. But the point is it is part of the lens and it communicates with the camera. The collar is adjustable that way you can shoot horizontal or you can shoot vertical. It has three stabilization modes. One is if you're trying to capture a subject and you want to hold the camera as still as possible, if you're shooting a slower shutter speed or if you're shooting in low light. Two is when you're panning, it's doing its absolute best to keep the frame as steady as possible when you're following a subject at high speed. That's really useful for us when we're shooting motorsport photography. When you set the lens to mode three, image stabilization is not seen through the lens while framing. It's activated and stabilizes just as you click the shutter. You could turn on and off the stabilization quickly, which comes in really handy when you're mounting it on a tripod. This last feature on here is really useful if you're shooting through fences, if you're shooting through bushes, or if there's something in the foreground that you just wanna make sure the lens does not see. It's a three meter to infinity, or you can have the full range of focus, which is really useful because let's say you just can't get in front of the fence and you have to shoot behind some kind of barrier. All you have to do is stay within three meters of that barrier and it basically just doesn't see it at all. For video, it's really great because the focusing is so fast and paired up with the R3 camera, it has amazing image stabilization. The focusing is really on point, especially when you're using car tracking mode. When you're using it as a still camera, there's nothing better than having this kind of range. Even at f7.1, when you're shooting at 500 millimeter, it's enough separation and bokeh to grab the subject. If you're shooting a vehicle, it actually does pop out from the background. If you need one lens to have the most range to do bird photography, landscape, action, wedding, whatever you need, this is the lens to have. While it would be amazing to be able to carry a 200, 300, 400, and 500 millimeter with you, it's just impossible. This is light enough and small enough, especially when you put the hood away, it can pretty much fit in any bag or backpack.